Hello everyone, this is Prashant and welcome to AJTech AI channel. Today we will learn about dictionary package in automation A360. So guys, if you are new to my channel and uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel till now, then please subscribe to the channel and uh, press the bell button to get the latest videos always. Okay, so first of all, we need to understand what is dictionary. Okay, so the dictionary consists key value pairs where each key has its own value so that we can easily retrieve the value based on that particular key. So how we can use this in automation a360 we will see with the practical here okay okay so we will create one variable of type dictionary here okay so here type i'll select the dictionary and subtype i'll select as a string so we have these many types are available based on your convenient you can use it so i'm selecting as a string here and the name here i am using dic employee is the name of the dictionary and i'll add the key value pairs also here okay so the key is emp name is my key and abc is the value for the first key for the second emp name and the value oh, sorry uh, the emp name we have already uh, given so here we can mention emp address okay and the value is x y z all right so i'll just click on the create okay all right so the this the dictionary employee variable has been created here so we'll see how we can use this with the dictionary package here so the dic is the package and inside this we have these five actions are available so we'll see one by one here so the assign is the first action in the uh, dictionary package so we'll see how we can use this so i'll just uh, use the existing dictionary from here the dic employee and then select the destination uh, dictionary variable okay so if we wanted to assign the dictionary keys with the multiple variables okay then we can use the multiple variables here and suppose we have the existing dictionary and we need to replicate the same with the another name then we can use the dictionary here okay so first of all we will try to assign the dictionary keys with the variables here so i'll use uh, this add variable mapping here i'll just mention the key so the key is something whatever we had created in the existing uh, dictionary that should be the exact match here okay so the in the existing dictionary there was a emp name and the address emp address those two keys were there okay so those should be match here so i'm just using the name here first so emp name and the map to the variable so we can create if that way uh, any variable is already available there then we can use it from here otherwise we can create the new variable so i'm just creating one variable str emp name okay create and select okay so here the uh, key emp name it is as assigning to the um, variable str name okay so this is added so i'll add one more uh, variable for key emp address okay so i'll create the variable here str emp address okay so create and select add all right so these uh, variables has been mapped with the keys okay so we'll see uh, i'll just try to print it uh, print this with the meshes box okay so the first is emp name and then i'll try to use the variable which we have just assigned emp name okay and the second is i'll just go to the next line emp emp address okay so here i'll use the second variable which was assigned for emp address okay save this and i'll just run this all right so here emp name is abc and emp address is xyz close okay so it is completed successfully okay so then the second we can see uh, this dictionary okay so here uh, if the dictionary variable is already available which was created then you can select otherwise uh, you can create it so i'm just creating here dic dic emp employee 
employee sorry employee dup okay so the create and select okay save this okay so we have uh, shown the both way one is uh, with the multiple variables and one with the dictionary okay so this is how we can use the action uh, in the dictionary package okay so we will see the next so i'll just uh, disable this message box dictionary and then the second one is the get okay suppose we wanted to get the value based on the key okay so whatever the keys we are providing based on those key we need to retrieve the value okay then we can use the get so how we can use i'll just show here so suppose we have this uh, the dsc uh, dic employee is the dictionary and then key uh, so i want the value from emp name okay and then i'll just assign this with the variable str or like we have already this uh, variable let me try to select this okay so str name okay so uh, save this and i'll just run this oh, sorry i just wanted to use the message box to print it i'll just cancel and use the message box message box okay so here it's emp name STREMP name. STREMP name. Yeah. Okay, so what we did here in the gate, like we have provided the existing dictionary name, and from that dictionary name, we have provided this EMP name, and based on this key, we should get the value and store in str emp name okay so we will see like we have used this str emp name then the output is expected as a abc here okay so i'll quickly run this okay then the abc is here so this is how we can use the get from the dictionary package so we will see the next one next is put i'll quickly disable this okay yeah so put uh, suppose we wanted to update the value uh, for particular key then we can use the put okay then I'll just uh, show you here. Uh, this is the ADSC employee. Uh, I'll use the key as a EMP uh, name, and uh, yeah, I I need to update the value. Uh, suppose uh, any of the variable is there, then we can select from here. If not, then we can just create and assign that particular value, which we need to update in the particular key. Okay, so here the str uh, uh, name to be update to be to be updated okay so this i have created and then i'll quickly assign this with the value okay this is the string here before this we will just assign this value as a prashant okay and here i'll just select name to be updated okay okay so before that we have created and assigned this uh, value to the variable and then we are updating here okay so here you can see the emp name whatever the emp name key is there inside this particular dic employee dictionary uh, there we need to update value as a str name to be updated whatever value is available inside this variable and inside this variable the value is prashant okay so this is a uh, updating there okay and we will just uh, uh, check inside the variable um, uh, inside the message box here like how whether it is it has been updated or not so here what i'll do i'll just select the dictionary from here okay so the primary dictionary variable this one and key is emp name all right so this is how we can print the dictionary uh, in the message box okay
Okay, so I'll quickly run this. Okay, so it should be the Prashant now. All right, so this has been updated there. Okay. Okay, and uh, this is the optional. Like, if you want to uh, store the what previous value was there associated with that key, then you can just use the variable here. Okay, you can just create one variable and you can you can uh, store inside that variable. So this is uh, uh, the optional. But if you want, then you can use this also. Okay. So we will see with the next uh, uh, package from the dictionary. So this is the remove. Okay. I'll quickly disable this meshes box again. Okay. Okay. So suppose uh, we wanted to uh, remove the value from specified key. Okay. Then we can use this. Okay. So here you can see the remove the value from the specified key. The remove value is assigned to the variable uh, va variable selected uh, from the assign uh, removed atom to the variable list. Okay. So here I'll just use this. Uh, uh, DIC employee key. I'll use the EMP name. EMP name. Okay. And here uh, assign the removed value. Okay. So this is again optional. If you want, you can use it. Otherwise, we can just use this and save. Okay. So uh, the key. EMP is removed. Okay, so uh, based on this particular action. Okay, so the only the action atom, uh, only the atoms inside the dictionary now it should be the one. Okay, so we'll see with the uh, next action here uh, in the size we can able to see whether this is removed or not. Okay, so I'll quickly run this. Okay, I think like we can just use this size again so that like it's. Uh, clear whether it is removed or not so i'm just using this dic employee where uh, like recently just uh, uh, we had removed the uh, emp name key so we'll just see the uh, the size here so basically uh, uh, the size it shows the whatever the entries are available inside the uh, how many entries are available inside the dictionary okay so we'll just create one variable here here int uh, the count okay okay create and select all right okay so i'll quickly run this and we will see uh, maybe i'll just use the meshes box to print this count to and then here yeah uh, so we cannot add this here because uh, the message box is accepting the string so we supposed to convert this uh, uh, number to the string first integer to the string so how i'll just show you so here we suppose okay okay so here uh, we can select the int count number and then inside here we can s s convert this to string okay then we can able to print this okay i'll run this Okay, so the uh, uh, inside the dictionary only one atom is there, so that is why it is shown one because we have just removed one key uh, and then uh, it is uh, 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 just it is available the uh, one uh, key value pair there inside this. Okay, so here you can see we have just removed this one. So earlier it was EMP name and EMP address was there. 
okay so i think that's it